Giambroni? Was the Giambroni reference? Was there a tie in there and a hair at all? <laughs> it's a big topic. I haven't even made a Giambroni joke yet, and I actually lived in the guy's ward for ten years, okay? We can talk later. Okay, so we're on to contestant number three, Camille Latchuk. Camille! Topic, so I think you can say for everyone in the room is reforming the voting system. <laughs> and when I, I was asking Camille, and she has in fact run for office herself, not this time round. And one of the motivations was that uh, there was no women running in her uh, area. And so I have to want you to know that there's another big race where there's no men in it in Toronto this year. You might want to think about that. Okay, so thank you, Camille. So I'm worried about the state of democracy in our city. Uh, thousands of us took to the street a few weeks ago to protest the state of democracy in Ottawa, but what about the problems in our own backyard? In the last municipal election, turnout was only 41%. And not only is turnout too low, but look at the outcome. Do you see the face of Toronto reflected on city council? We're one of the most culturally diverse cities in the world, yet 9 of 10 councillors are white and 8 of 10 are men. So our city council clearly isn't purely representative, and that suggests to me one of two problems. Either voters don't care, <laughs> or the system screwed up. And I say the system screwed up. It was developed when people still thought the earth was flat, and that was fine for the 11th century, but uh, it was because it was replacing no voting at all. Uh, now it has one major flaw, and that's that it's not democratic. Um, not all voters get to elect someone. In 2006, 44% of elects elected no one to city council. Uh, but democracy means that everyone has uh, the right to representation regardless of how you vote. So in your ward, maybe 60% of the voters are on the right and 40 on the left. And if you're the 40 on the left, you still deserve that representation. But like many things in life, the answers can be found in the package of Smarties. So let's look at the problem here. These are people living in a ward in Toronto. Uh, for simplicity's sake, we'll say there are two groups, uh, instead of left and right, let's call them blue and yellow. And here we see our yellow and blue voters living in three different wards. And each ward has both a yellow and a blue candidate, but since Toronto uses a winner-take-all system, uh, each uh, ward can only elect one councillor. So in each of these wards, there are slightly more yellow voters than blue. And if you see what happens here, even though uh, many voters cast blue ballots, only yellow candidates are elected. So the blue ele voters elect no one to sit on city council for them. So when winner-take-all elections happen in 44 individual wards, well, it's no kidding that city council doesn't reflect the face of the community and that our concerns often go unheard. So what can we do differently? The best way to make city council representative is by electing a number of people in each ward. Let's look at the Smarties again. Instead of three smaller wards, the same people could vote in a larger ward with three, that elect three councillors. And the blue Smarties here elected no one before, but now because they're one third of the voters, they can elect one third of the uh, councillors. So how would we give full representation to all Toronto voters? Instead of 44 wards electing just one person each, we could have nine larger wards with five councillors each. And if you think back to the Smarties, <laughs> five people elected in each ward means that 20% of the voters could elect someone. And it means more diversity, it sets the stage for more ethnic diversity, gender diversity, and even age diversity. But lots of people have schemes on how to build a better democracy, so it's just <laughs> one of the, another lunatic fantasy. Or is it so complicated and confusing to voters that no one has ever done it? Uh, no, the system is used quite widely. Uh, over 100 councils in Scotland, Ireland, New Zealand, Cambridge, Massachusetts, and in the early part of the 1900s, uh, New York, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Boulder, Toledo, Sacramento, and here at home in Canada, we have Vancouver, Victoria, Calgary, Edmonton, Regina, Saskatoon, Winnipeg, and 12 other cities. So it is being done. Uh, Canadians shocked politicians in the media a few weeks ago uh, by taking to the streets, but we don't have representative democracy here in Toronto, and we don't have a council that represents the face of our population. 
But we could have that if we demanded it. Um, and I think we must demand a new voting system that gives us full representation. We could demand the right to cast a ballot that elects someone to council, even if we're a minority in our part of the city. And we could demand that Toronto lead the way with municipal voting reform. So we can do this, and I think we must do this for the sake of democracy. And I'm going to keep on working on this project, and I hope you will join me. Uh, you can see fairvote.ca for more information. Woo!